Hello and welcome to my review of One Piece Chapter 831. The title of the chapter is Adventure in the Mysterious Forest. Now in case you had not noticed, I do not have my mic with me at the moment. I am away at my aunt's house right now, so I don't have my equipment with me, I just have my laptop. So I'm recording it on here with the built-in mic. I'm sorry about the low audio quality. So yeah, let's get into the review. So my thoughts on the chapter, I think it was a good chapter. I do feel like there were flaws with it, such as the fact that it didn't advance the story very much. However, it did give us a good idea of what the pacing would be like for this arc. And what I want to point out right off the bat is that the Zo arc is an enigma. The Zo arc and the beginning of this arc, the past couple of chapters, the past like 30 chapters or so, since I would say... Probably since 818, when we really noticed it, but Oda had just been on point with the high-quality content. However, he can't always be bringing us this god-tier content. Oda is not a god, he's a man, and he can't keep on bringing us this 10 out of 10 content constantly. I don't think Oda's able to do that, and you know what? Sorry, guy, but he can't. He can't do that. So, I'm gonna give him some slack this week. But I do feel like there were some flaws in this chapter. Number one was the trolling with the person on the coast that was set up at the end of the last chapter. Now, because I was unable to do a review last week, and I don't know if I'll be able to do it next week, I'm hoping. I'm like 90% confident I will be able to, but I can't make you any promises. But because I couldn't do a review, I couldn't talk about that. I was pretty sure the person on the coast was Sanji, but it was not Sanji in the way I wanted it to be. It was not the Sanji we love, it was probably like a mirror Sanji, even though his eyebrow was on the right side, from what I understood. I mean, that really bothered me, that troll, I mean, because it set that up and it had the whole chapter chasing Sanji, yet I knew, right when we saw his face for the first time, for like, the second or first time, when he had that, like, flat expression, I had two thoughts in my head. One was that Sanji was about to pull a Nami and tell Luffy to screw off, he wants nothing to do with him. Or, worse, that it wasn't the real Sanji, which it turned out it wasn't. Luffy only thinks he saw Sanji in Pudding. Now, there were some good things about this chapter. Even though the chapter was dragged out and felt like a little bit of a waste of time, we got Nami and Luffy and Chopper all interacting. There were some great moments. I love when Nami questioned the talking crocodile with the hat, and Luffy, I, th I think it was Luffy who said it, and, he, and Luffy's like, why did this surprise you? We think much weirder stuff. I mean, it's true. I mean, they have. So that was really nice. I found that really funny. But there were, of course, other small little things that bothered me. There's always going to be small things that bother me, but they're just more prevalent this week. And a lot of my problems have to do with the previous chapter, just with this chapter not living up to last week's hype. Another thing that, oh my god, this pissed me off so much. Everybody was speculating about who was in the armor. I'm 99% sure it was Nami, but it wasn't made clear enough. And then it just never mentioned. I, I, I didn't like that. That pissed me off. That really did. There's a lot of things that are pissing me off, though. There's also the fact that a lot of the stuff in this chapter was just kind of like, it was more questions. Now, I'm fine when we, when we get a question brought into the existence. When Oda makes us and gives us more questions in a chapter, I'm fine with it. As long as he either sets up the next chapter where one of our questions that we have at the moment will be answered at the end, or he answered uh, well, at least something in, this, in that chapter. Oh, we got no answer this week. We're not any closer to them, and we haven't even made it into the forest. So one of my personal most interesting battle was the last panel. Now, I will admit the Luffy versus Luffy thing was really epic. Like, that one panel. I'm not saying it was good. It was meh. I didn't really care for it. But the Gumu Gumu no Galling collision, like when they both did the Gallant, the Gallant, whatever, I had trouble saying that move, I don't know why, but when they both did it, and they, like, collided, that was really cool, I also love the, like, I actually didn't notice that, that, that they were mirror images until Chopper pointed it out, that's how good of an artist Oda is, it was really good, but, I mean, uh, I don't, I don't really know how to word this chapter, I know I'm gonna edit the audio in the review, just because of how low it is, so I'm not going to cut out my silence, because 
This is a laid back review, but uh, I really don't know what to rate this chapter, guy. This is probably one of the first One Piece chapters that I'm walking out of, kind of like a meh. I'm either normally satisfied, annoyed, hyped, or that's it. But this chapter, I kind of just walk away with more of like a okay, that happened. And and by the way, well, and another thing was it was an it was a chapter that took forever to get to the ending. We could have gotten into the fort by page five. And then there's no chapter next week. I mean, yeah, so actually, I don't need to worry. I can almost guarantee you I'll be able to review the next chapter, but there's no chapter next week. And if if I do it, if I if I do get the opportunity, I may do a live stream. I cannot promise that. But, I mean, I may. Honestly, I was going to make, like, a theory video. I may still make one. But, I mean, this chapter was a major letdown. If I had to rate this chapter, I would rate it a, you know what, I'd give it like a 4 out of 10, I'm sorry. I had a 4 out of 10, I really, it was just, it was, you know what, the four, I'll give it a 4 out of 10, because a lot of good stuff did happen. The problem is, is that the, it was entertaining, but it didn't really progress the plot, and it didn't really feel needed. It was entertaining, but it wasn't needed. That's the problem with it. So yeah, and you know what, no, not 4 out of 10, 5 out of 10, a half. I'll give it a half and half. Half of it would good. So half of the half of the chapter is good because it's entertaining, but half of it is bad because it doesn't progress the story at all. I know some people really hate it. I don't hate it. I just don't really like it. Um, I don't really, I don't hate it. I don't hate it, and I don't like it. So yeah, five out of ten. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my review for One Piece chapter eight hundred and thirty one. Eight hundred and thirty one. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me your thoughts on the chapter in the comment section down below. Uh, remember to like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more videos, and next chapter, live reactions should be back. If I do a review for the next chapter, I should also have a live reaction. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. Above all else, guys, have a great day. This is Nation, signing out. Peace.